Hello, uh, I thought I'd do a short video uh, following my recent trip to the Euro silicone plant in Apt in France. And I was really amazed uh, and interested at some of the tests used for breast implants. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the tests that I saw during the visit. The first test is called the drop impact resistance test, and this is what we're showing here. In this test, depending a little bit on the size of the uh, implant, they drop a 4.3 kilogram weight um, onto the uh, implant, and you can see that the implant's very strong and doesn't break. They drop the weight slightly higher for a bigger implant and slightly lower for a smaller implant. This test is designed to replicate sort of sudden impacts on the implant, so to show what would happen if you had a sudden impact like a seatbelt crush in a crash on an implant. And you can see it's extremely strong. The next test is the tensile strength test. And what they do in this test is get two sections of the implant, one from the shell and one from the junction of the back plate on the uh, shell, and stretch it slowly. And the number they're looking for is a 450% increase in the length of the implant. So it will stretch from a small amount to 450 times bigger. Now in fact, 450 times is the minimum uh, allowed, uh, but in all the experiments we saw at the Euro silicone uh, factory, the implant was much stronger and sustained a much greater stretch. The next test is the static rupture test, in which the implant is slowly squashed between two very heavy plates at two millimeters per uh, minute. And the magic figure we're looking for here is half a ton of weight. So we can see that the implant's really, really squashed with half a ton of weight. And again, it hasn't failed. Um, the number they're looking for here, in most cases, is you know, more towards a ton is uh, where the implant will uh, show signs of fatigue. So all in all, I was really impressed. What they do is they take implants off the line randomly and test them really to look for any uh, problems uh, with the implants, to check that they're extremely strong and extremely well made. So I think the trip to uh, the factory was really helpful. I tend to use Nagel or Eurosilicone implants in most of our cases, and these are sister companies um, uh, work very uh, closely uh, together, and I was really reassured by these three tests that the implants that we use are as strong as possible and unlikely to uh, fail and have any mechanical problems. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and informative. I certainly enjoyed my trip to France. If you have any questions about implants, how they test them, please contact us at aurora-clinics.co.uk. Thank you.